ঠিক আছে স্লাইড শেয়ার একটু পরে করব এখনো দেয়নি সুযোগ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ অল নাও আই লাইক টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস ডক্টর কৌশিক দা ডি দাস টু ইউ দিস ইজ आवर অন আই আই এফ পি এ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ফোরাম ফর প্রমোটিং হোমিওপ্যাথি on 1185th day of our zoom webinar today a special subject is dealing a special subject to sports medicine you know that we are always touching hand with many 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 things under the, the heaven now this is a great opportunity we know, we know that one of our great personality the pt usha an olympian she had so many problems the while she was uh, engaging her uh, uh, sports that time at last she got homeopathic treatment and she got many success in her life olympian pt usha so i wa uh, i like to introduce professor dr kaushik devdas md homeopathy mpa healthcare these are the achievements awarded order of merit by the university of calcutta 2001 bhms for securing third position in university examinations 14 years of teaching experience member board of studies homeopathic pharmacy uh, uh, ug the west bengal university of health sciences examiner paper settler undergraduates he west bengal university of health sciences west bengal rajiv gandhi university in arunachal pradesh sri manda sangha dev university of health sciences guwahati pg gate the west bengal university of health sciences paper settler and moderator pg homeopathic pharmacy the west bengal university of health science articles publications in homeopathic journals the evolution of dynamization mnhc bulletin 2019 ibs and its homeopathic management research publications in peer review uh, reviewed international journals as a co-author he got many awards recipient of late chinta haran bishwas award 2000 recipient of allen scomio excellent national award best teacher 2019 by nat national homeopathic forum of forum of india today i told you that the subject exploring scope of homeopathic in sports medicine we uh we welcome you sir you can deliver your speech for next 45 minutes and after that there will be a discussion part so please you can start now sir okay thank you so much good evening everyone uh before i start i just want to check uh, sir whether i am audible or not am uh, audible? yeah you are audible audible okay, audible, okay. audible okay sir. sir i'm just checking my uh, sharing the screen and just checking uh, yeah, yeah. the slides are moving just a uh, few seconds yeah we can see it yeah okay, okay sir fine okay are the slides moving properly yeah 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 Move. okay so i'm starting right okay so thank you so much dr robert da silva for a nice introduction So the topic that was assigned to me is exploring the scopes in, of homeopathy in uh, sports medicine. So apart from being a homeopath doctor, I am very enthusiastic about sports medicine. So uh, I love to take, the, take up this topic. So let me present the things uh, that I have prepared in my slide. So in the next 45 minutes, I will be covering the areas regarding uh, the history and basics. This will take a few slides. and uh, the scope of homeopathy apart from that the various uh, famous players 
the coaches, the various teams that use uh, homeopathy medicine as a sports medicine. Along with that, uh, what are the scopes of homeopathy, the posology that is being used? What are the views of stalwarts, researches in the field of homeopathic sports medicine and books that will be covered in my presentation. So I will take a few slides to start with the history of uh, sports medicine. So it was at the prehistoric ages when uh, people used to stay in caves apart from hunting and saving themselves from the calamities of nature. They had brought some time for uh, their laser activities. And sports was a kind of laser in those days. But human beings, they have a kind of instinct to display their skills, to show that uh, they are better than their counterparts. In that way, various kind of sports competitions started in the human civilizations. If you look at the different cave paintings, we will find that yes, people in caves in the different parts of the world, they were engaged in some kind of sports, some kind of human activities which were in sports in those days. So now, just studying the history of medicine, we'll find that uh, this kind of presence of sports medicine is uh, basically present in every civilization. While playing, the players, the people, they used to suffer different kind of injuries sustained at a kind of at the time of physical activities at the time of playing games. And for that, there were doctors who used to support them, treat them, bring back them on the track. So in every ancient civilization, there is existence of sports medicine. Now, moving on to the next slide, this is a picture of Herodicus, a Greek physician. He is known as the father of sports medicine. Basically, he was a teacher of gymnastics, a teacher of games, but later on he pursued medicine. And he was the first person to combine sports and medicine. He framed his own way of uh, theories and uh, concepts. His point was that if there is any imbalance between the diet and physical activity, that leads to ill health. So he recommended proper diet and physical activity, a combination of proper diet and activity that can only cure and that can bring back the person once back onto, onto the track. He has actually advocated various forms of uh, therapeutic exercises to heal the injuries. But unfortunately, whatever work he had done with uh, the passage of time, most of his works are lost. However, whatever excerpts are present in the books, in the medical textbooks, by that, at least we can tell confidently that he had done enough, he had enough contribution in the field of sports medicine. So that is why he is regarded as the father of sports medicine. Now, in the Greek period, Olympics was a very famous sporting activity. It used to take place at a gap. The different Greek states or cities, they used to represent with the players initially. Uh, there were no such, uh, uh, basically this uh, sports person, they lacked proper knowledge about uh, the injuries. But Olympic was always uh, considered a great uh, reputation. Actually, the honor that was connected to Olympics, that basically made them conscious. And one thing is important over here, we find even in the Greek medicine that there were Doctors who were assigned to sports person, they used to take care of this sports persons of Greek civilization. Coming on to the Roman period, after the Greek civilization, when the Romans conquered at that time, still for few years, the Olympiads continued, but slowly that declined. Even after that, the Greek doctors, they too have contributed in the development of sports medicine. Galen, doctor of Roman period, he too had a great role in the development of sports medicine. In those days, the athletes, the players, the gladiators, for them, doctors were assigned to treat their injuries sustained during the game-related matters. 
some other notables of Indian medicine, we have Susruta, who had linked obesity with diabetes and heart diseases. And he had also given stress on different physical activities as a therapeutic mode. We find the some link to sports medicine and uh, treatment of various sports-related injuries in our Atharva Veda. As I had already said, Galen was a famous doctor of Roman medicine. One of his important books, though, Parve Pile Excrete Exercito, it means exercise with the small ball. And this was a book which should be appreciated. This book contains how one can do the exercises with a small ball. This kind of exercises used throwing the ball in the air and catching the ball, that was an exercise for the eye. With the small ball, it brought a coordination among the muscles of the whole body. It was a virtue to the soul. So this is a book of repute, which is written by Dr. Gallen. Few more slides on the history of sports medicine, other notables being Ibn Sina, a 10th century physician who is related to Arabian medicine. He too had written a book, The Canon of Medicine, which we all know. And in this book, there are informations related to sports medicine, where he gives instructions regarding masses therapy and how muscle injuries can be healed. Now, Basically, our focus is the scope of homeopathy. So I will not go into much details from now. But the thing is, as we have seen, the presence of sports medicine in Greek, Roman, Indian medicine, similar kind of examples are there in Chinese medicine and in Egyptian civilization. Let's check in the next slide how the development of sports medicine took place. What are the notable deaths? What are the accomplishments that took place in sports medicine? These are the important different years. Among them, let me tell of this one, 1896. We have already discussed about the ancient Olympic Games, which took place in Greece from 776 BC to 373 AD. Now, after that, what happened? Olympics was closed completely. But later on, one French person was there, uh, the, Mr. Baron Pierre de Coubertin. He was the man behind the initiation of modern Olympics movement. And thereafter, once again, there was progress and development in the field of sports medicine. After 1900, we see major achievements like starting of a sports medicine journal, uh, opening of different sports uh, medicine associations. One more important thing took place in 1968 when one doctor, Dr. J.C. Kennedy, uh, along with his team, they participated with the participants in the Olympic Games that took place in 1968 in Mexico City. So we now see that doctors are part of football team, cricket team, hockey team. So it started from there, from 1968. We remember in our childhood days, there was one physio come doctor, Ali Irani who used to run to the ground whenever Indian cricket players uh, suffered any, sustained any injury and on the ground. Very recently, the Pakistan hockey team had arrived in uh, Chennai to participate in the one hockey tournament. And we see one Indian physio doctor, Mr. Raj Kamal, who was associated, who was uh, assigned with the Pakistan team. So it started from 1968. And one more important thing happened in 1971 when the Indian Association of Sports Medicine at the National Institute of Sports that was set up in Patiala at, with regards to Indian sports medicine development. Now coming on to basics, before we check the scope of uh, homeopathy in sports medicine, we need to uh, see what are the basic areas, what are the basics of sports medicine. It's a field of health care which is related with prevention of injury. So before the game starts, in that way, the sports person are trained so that they can prevent their injuries. Now, if at the time of games, they suffer from injuries, so that treatment should be done. So that is treatment of the existing injuries. Next, this is also one important area in sports medicine where it is concerned with improving the performance of the players. And finally comes rehabilitation. Now, these are present, these are related 
to both contact games and non-contact games. Contact games coming like football, rugby, and uh, in non-contact games headings, we have games like uh, swimming, uh, cricket. Even these are related to non-competitive games. People are jogging or running alone. These are non-competitive games. There is no competition. But in such kind of games also, a person who is uh, performing the thing, he can face an injury. The sports medicine covers that part also. In actual games, in practical, in practice, in pre-season training, everywhere there is scope of sports medicine. Now, these are the commonly affected areas that I have mentioned in the bottom part of my slide, the different joints, the bones, uh, cartilages, which are generally injured when a person is involved in sports activities. These are the objectives restoring the patient's functioning to the highest possible level. Next comes the preventive aspect, which means that one has to, the doctor has to detect whether there is any disorder and maintain the fitness. Now, the last one is providing the sports person effective medical care so that performers in actual sports can perform safely and comfortably. So these are the main objectives. These are the main principles of treatment in sports medicine, applying eyes, physical therapy, keeping that part immobile. Now, this is represented by one important acronym, which is PRICE, where P actually means uh, protection of the affected part, or R for giving rest to the part for two, three days, I for applying some kind of eyes on the part, C means here compressing the part properly and E for elevating the affected part, which should be just above the level of the heart. Now, in sports medicine, which generally follows the conventional medicines, there are different anti-inflammatory drugs or pain relievers which are given. Now, this is one area where we will give our drug, but the rest things are same. We will follow price. We will give eyes. We will give physical therapy. We will keep the part immobile. But we will, along with the same time, apply the homeopathy medicines. I'll come to those medicines in my later slides. Now, there's a term that uh, there's a phrase in English that everything is fair in love and war. Something who is weak, he actually takes some unethical motives in order to win a war. The same thing happened in sports. In order to win, there were the sports person who take unethical practices. And unfortunately, these things are sometimes encouraged by doctors, supported by officials, supported by the, even by the country. In the, my childhood, once I uh, was listening to a radio program over where the different sports journalists as panelists were discussing that this kind of unethical practices started from Eastern European countries in order to win medals in Olympics and different uh, championships. They take different kind of uh, drugs, which are performance enhancer enhancers. Later on, the International Sports uh, Federation, they brought out different kind of tests, doping tests to find out whether the performer had taken help of this kind of performance enhancing drugs to win medals. But this kind of uh, conspiracy is going on. This kind of people are there who are constantly doing all kind of research. They are finding innovative ways to prevent this kind of drug detection. One more new technique they have adopted earlier, which is known as blood doping. In this process, what they used to do, they used to collect the blood from the competitor. They used to super oxygenate it. And later they used to transfuse back that the blood into the body of that performer just before that event. Now, this used to give too much energy to them. In short term, short period games like sprint, we found that uh, this kind of sports person, they used to perform much better, but some kind of unethical practices were there. Now, I am just, I placed these slides because homeopathy is free from them. By comparison, I can show homeopathy. In homeopathy, there is no drug. Uh, which is related to doping. In homeopathy, there is no drug which has been banned by International Sporting Federation. So that is our scope. I will come in details over there. So 
different kind of even anabolic steroids are used by female athletes to defeat their counterparts. This was the practice. So this kind of uh, using uh, this kind of drugs, they did have some kind of side effects. There used to be physical dependence uh, and there could be in female, there could be muscularization after taking off anabolic steroids. People where I just mentioned about blood doping, there are possibilities of suffering from hemolytic anemia in this kind of patients. So homeopathy is free from such kind of side effects. So what is the scope of homeopathy? These are the two important points. In order to win, in order to be best in a sports competition, one must possess the endurance. And at the same time, the performer should have high degree of skills. How the endurance can be achieved? It depends on the muscle group which is involved. Suppose there is someone who is involved in sprint. So his lower muscles of limbs, these are involved. The energy output from the muscles, that is important. The status of nutrition, that is important, which will help in its endurance, which will increase its endurance. And the skill depends on the health of the nervous system, the reflexes of the patient. Now, homeopathy aids in both by removing the blockage, by removing the um, uh, disadvantage in the system, it improves the nutrition. Homeopathy aids by increasing the energy output of a person, of a sports person. Now, these are some of the strengths of homeopathy. It is very, very much related to high level sports. And uh, I remember. There is one doctor, Dr. Jatin Valia, a homeopath doctor who is working in the field of uh, sports medicine. He once said in a newspaper interview that in homeopathy, there is no chances of drug detection. Homeopathy medicines are given in potentized form, in diluted form. So such kind of dangers are not there. Homeopathy medicines don't pose any kind of danger to the health that I was just mentioning. The masculinization is happening after taking anabolic steroids in female or somebody is prone to suffer from hemolytic anemia. Such kind of things don't happen in homeopathy. And the last plan is quite important. A homeopathy medicine can be taken for the other acute elements during sports events. People, sports persons who are basically taking the conventional medicines, they have to select their medicine for even cough and cold very carefully. Because sometimes it happens that unintentionally they take a medicine for cough and cold, for stomach problems. And later on, although they have not doped in their life, but later on, at during doping test, they find that uh, they have been caught positive. So it is just because of that medicine, which was a medicine taken for fever or cough and cold. But in homeopathy, that can't take place. In homeopathy, they will take proper homeopathy medicine for their sports injuries and at the same time if he's suffering from any kind of cup and cold or fever he can easily take homeopathy medicine there is no chance of being caught by this kind of drugs this is one advantage homeopathy is natural we all know so i will not speak on this anymore homeopathy cures rapidly we all know that thing but the important point is if we treat the patient at the right time it can avoid the chances of surgeries in my next slide, I will show you that uh, different there are players who could avoid uh, surgeries at a, by taking homeopathy medicine at the right time. Next, these are also some of the strengths of homeopathy. It can be used before physical activity, during the activity, after the activity. Homeopathy has a preservative benefit for physical exertion. It prevents the chances of dehydration in long period events like marathon. It helps the possibilities of muscle cramp. Homeopathy gives psychological support before and after an event. Let me explain this thing. So before the event, sometimes it happens that players are having fears. They are having insomnia, some kind of stress, anxiety. For that, already I have mentioned only two drugs, but there may be some other drugs like, like aconite, gelsemium. These drugs are well is vindicated in such kind of mental symptoms. Now, homeopathy medicines can be given for injury sustained during the event. That is one issue. We all know that. After the event, if the 
performer who is a good performer if he misses the medals there can be that even after practicing for so many years suddenly finds himself depressed so we have to bring him back to the track once more we have to encourage them along with pep talk we can use our homeopathy medicines which we know can help in frustration and depression like different drugs over here mentioned like uh, ignatia natremure they can help the sports performer now these are the homeopathic medicines as we all are doctors where we are all well aware of these medicines so i will not go into much elaborately on these drugs the most mostly the drugs which are related to injuries these are used as sports medicine in homeopathy but i would like to point out the last three drugs which are mentioned in red as per research we have found that is vanadium 6x ferrum metallicum 6x they help in increasing the hemoglobin percentage and that helps in sports performance i will give you the reference there is one writing one article of dr r k negi where he used his medicines for boxers then there is one more medicine i just mentioned regarding the endurance that is one point to achieve in sports arsenicum album 6 of homeopathy is a medicine which can increase the physical endurance which is very much required during sports in that way homeopathy can help the sports persons so little more discussion on arsenic from history we find earlier arsenic was given to horses to improve the speed and endurance there is mention of arsenic in charak samhita earlier the porters or the sages who used to stay in the caves of himalaya they used to take a very small amount of arsenic which used to help them sustain that kind of environment in my last presentation i had mentioned dr honik berger while he was moving to russia and he was passing to central asia in kabul and in gandhar he met people in lahore also he met people who used to consume a little amount of arsenic which used to give them endurance so from history we find that arsenic had been used either in crude form or in very minute dose there were sacred potions also which were used by in greek roman civilizations by gladiators by matadors that used to increase their endurance so in from history there is this kind of uh, uh, explanations are there this kind of informations are there now let us see uh, in our materia medica dr clark in the, in the book uh, a dictionary of practical materia medica writes on arsenic that arsenic is the remedy for the effects of prolonged endurance it has power of strengthening the muscles of the limb and that of the breathing apparatus this is one important point i will come i will explain this point in my coming slides so let's move on to some renowned players who are using homeopathy so we find in both team events or individual events as mentioned as over here in every sports we find there are some athletes some sports person who use homeopathy medicine who had been benefited by homeopathy medicine let's see some examples notable sports persons coming with uh, starting with martina navratilova we all know her name she was one of the greatest lawn tennis players winning 59 grand slams in her career and uh, during her retirement speech she recognized the contribution of homeopathy there are many people who don't recognize they take homeopathy medicine but don't recognize the homeopathy in open field but martina navratilova she actually gave all credit to homeopathy for our health and fitness next comes david beckham in 2002 just before the world cup he had a injury in his foot his beta tarsal bone got broken and everyone was quite anxious that whether he would be able to represent england in the world cup of 2002 and uh, he tried different medicines along with that he had taken homeopathy medicine and he recovered and he represented england in the world cup and gave credit to homeopathy that just, just because of homeopathy i could once back once more return to football field usain bolt who has eight gold medals in the last three olympiads right now he has retired he has this record of 
world record of the fastest timing in 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters. Usain Bolt to take homeopathy medicine, used to take homeopathy medicine to maintain his fitness. Coming on to PT Usa, Dr. D. Silva already mentioned of PT Usa in the beginning of my presentation. We are all proud of PT Usa. I remember in uh, 1985 what happened, she suffered one injury and her performance graph lowered. She was facing criticism from various corners as it happens in India. So PT Usa, she consulted doctors in London and they had advised for some surgery but uh, they didn't confirm that whether after surgery you will be completely, uh, you will be able to return back to track and perform in the same way. So I remember she consulted one doctor, homeopath doctor in Thalassery, and she was taking homeopathy medicines from him. And uh, she returned back to track. She was perfectly well. And in 1986, we remember, in those days, India didn't give so uh, didn't achieve so many medals in those days in Asia Games. Recently in China, we find India had won so many medals. But in 1986 Seoul Olympics, India had won only five gold medals. And out of these five gold medals, PT USA had won four gold medals for the country and brought glory to the nation. So the thing is, this is how homeopathy is helping the sports person in the field of sports medicine. One more doctor, one more doctor had treated uh, our famous cricket player, Vijay Manjrekar, who was uh, his father of Sanjay Manjrekar. Many informations are there in Google, but this is one information which is not in Google. I remember long back, I had uh, gone through one article of Dr. Bholana Chakravarti. Dr. Bholana Chakravarti is a very famous doctor in Bengal, and his uh, name is known all over the world. So in his article, he had mentioned that people, they talk of homeopathy, they tell that homeopathy can't do this, can't do that. But here, he just gave this example that people should know in the Royal London Homeopathic Hospital, one Indian cricket player was operated. His knee surgery was done in this Royal London Homeopathic Hospital. And after that, the post-operative treatment of Vijay Manjarekar was done with homeopathy medicines, which prolonged his career. So these are very important and interesting informations which are related to sports person and sports medicine. Coming on to one player of recent times, Jahir Khan, it happened in 2010 uh, at the time of uh, the Eden Test match against South Africa. He had injured his limbs and was cramping and limping back to the pavilion. And he ordered for homeopathy medicines in Calcutta. So later on, BCCI made an official statement that Jahir seems to trust homeopathy more than allopathy or other kind of medications. And uh, Gary Christian, the coach of Indian team, informed that he was using homeopathy for the tightening of his quadriceps. Later on, Jahir Khan, he got cured with homeopathic application. And uh, he returned back once more to the cricket field. Some other notable users, world archery champion Sebastian Peniu of France, Daniel Golian Manrik of Peru, who is a Jiu-Jitsu champion, or Wendy Reynard, a footballer, a female footballer from uh, France. They also use and take, have taken help from homeopathy medicines. Some coaches who recommend homeopathy, the first comes uh, Dr. Hans Wilhelm Muller. It's very important. He's a German orthopedist. He was the doctor of the German national soccer team from 1995 to 2018. Later on, he was the coach of a uh, doctor of uh, FC Bayern Munich. He recommends homeopathy for his players. And just see his, the patients whom he had treated. Jürgen Klinsmann of Germany, Michael Owen, Ronaldo of Brazil, Maurice Green, an athlete, Usain Bolt, they are his patients. He says, says of homeopathy, I do not want to hurt the patient. So I ended up with homeopathy. It worked great from the beginning. One more coach, Ja Marcel Ferret, the doctor of France national football team. He also was the doctor of one more French football club, Olympic Lyonnais. He recommended homeopathy for his players. And during his tenure, 
France won the FIFA World Cup in 1998, followed by the Euro Cup in 2000. This is what he says of homeopathy. Homeopathy can provide a preventive and curative action. There is no risk of doping. So, John Marcel Ferret also says there is no risk of doping if homeopathy medicines are taken, which produce there's a high level of acceptability among the athletes. Some teams, uh, this is important. As I was telling that uh, uh, drugs like vanadium 6, X and uh, arsenic 6, these medicines were used by the Indian army, by the boxers at a time. And they found that just because arsenic 6 was capable of increasing the endurance, the performance of that particular regiment of boxers who were using this arsenic 6, they performed better than the other regiments in army games, inter-army games. Later, this information was passed on to the basketball players and the basketball players of the army services crops, they also started taking arsenic 6, which improved their performance. This message was taken up by the Basketball Federation of India. And they recommended that Indian national basketball players, you should also take arsenic six. This will help in your performance. The different football teams in Germany, of uh, we know that uh, the professional football league of Germany is known as Bundesliga. And uh, there is a report that both the first and second division club players, they use homeopathy medicine in Germany. Same for France. The France football team players, they also use homeopathy medicine. Now, this is one important information. In the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, it was found that a cyclist team of Great Britain, they had to carry homeopathy medicines to just uh, face the injuries. After injuries, they used to use homeopathy medicines. This was introduced by Jim Henry, who was the director of the British Cyclist Federation and just for information in the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, the British cyclist team, they had won medals. They were champions. Just I was mentioning the basketball team after getting information from the army about arsenic six, the basketball team, they started taking arsenic six and it was decided that in the ninth Asian games, which was held in India in New Delhi in 1982, the basketball players, they had taken help of homeopathy medicines. Along with arsenic-6, they had taken other medicines. But they recognized homeopathy. Basketball Federation of India, it recognized homeopathy. This is an honor for homeopathy. Some real-life experiences. This is what, what we get in Google or in different books. Let me just uh, give you some field experiences. I personally, I had treated one uh, uh, wicket keeper. Of, uh, he plays in the Calcutta Association of Bengal League. He used to play for different clubs. And uh, for his hill pain or ankle injuries, I had given him homeopathy medicines. The point that I want to tell is he was a wicketkeeper. And he informed me that in Calcutta, the different wicketkeepers of different teams, they are also taking homeopathy medicine. Because a wicketkeeper, he has to uh, just uh, 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 sit behind a wicket for long hours. They suffer from backache. They suffer from hill, hill pain. And for that, they're taking homeopathy medicines. He informed me of Saurabh Ganguly. He informed me of Saba Karim. Saba Karim had a, a short stay. He used to play for India for a short period of time. Saba Karim was a wicketkeeper of Indian team for a short uh, time. So this uh, players, Saurabh Ganguly, Saba Karim, they do support homeopathy. They, they, take, they also uh, take homeopathy medicines for different kind of uh, problems which they face in the sporting field. Some other experiences, these are not so famous players. Sip Shankar Pal, he was a player of uh, India A. He represented India in only one test. He is a Bengal cricket team player. Or Xavier Pius, uh, ex Mohan Bagan player. Most probably he's from Kerala. He also used homeopathy medicines. The now name of doctors are given over here. Dr. Dhiraj Saha used to uh, provide homeopathy treatment for Sip Shankar Pal. And there is Dr. Rathin Banerjee. He was my teacher in my college. He had treated Xavier Pius, an ex-Mohan Bagan football player, for their injuries and helped them to return back to field. Coming on to posology, that should be followed in sports medicine. So sports injuries, they come all of a sudden. They are surprising things. Nobody knows when a person 
who is involved in sports will get some injury. So the thing is, in sports injury, the repetition should be frequent because the system, it requires more administration of medicine and in frequent doses. And selection of medicine should be based on the setup action. Now, if somebody is suffering from sports injury, which has been faced long back then, so we should start, we can start with Arnica 1M or Arnica 10M. And thereafter comes different medicines based on where the injury took place. We can think of Ruta, we can think of Pelisperinis, we can think of Natrum Sal, Hypericum, Silesia, Ledum, and many other drugs can come. But starting may be done with Arnica. And uh, there are cases where the totality of symptoms should be taken when it has been happening for a long period. So totality of symptoms should be taken, that should be considered. And in such cases, when the injuries have occurred long back, less frequent repetition should be done. Some views of homeopathic stalwarts here, I would share uh, one view of Dr. Pierre Smith, where he says that uh, we know that in homeopathy, there is a kind of uh, administration of homeopathy medicine where three different potencies are given at a certain interval. Dr. Margaret Tyler used this thing. Later on, Dr. Pierre Smith also used this kind of medicines, three different potencies at an interval for sports injuries. He says, in my practice, I have seen great success with this method in sports injuries. He used to give 30, 200, and 1M potency of the same medicine at an interval of 20 minutes. This is mentioned, I have mentioned a source over here, this book, Hanneman Revisited, a textbook of classical homeopathy, where Dr. Luke, the skipper, mentions about this kind of application of homeopathy medicine in sports medicine in page number 76. We can find this. So homeopaths in the field, I will just mention of one doctor, Dr. Jatin Nandalal Bhatia, Walia. He is uh, head of the Department of Surgery in Virar Homeopathic Medical College of Maharashtra. But apart from him, he is the chief sports homeopathic consultant right now of the Paralympics team. He had done enormous in the field of sports medicine. The Paralympics team, which is preparing itself right now for the Asian Games, Olympics, World Championships, he is the chief sports consultant of that. Apart from his, he has experience of working with the national hockey team. He had interaction with Dhandaraj Pille. He has work, worked with the national volley team. He has worked with the weightlifting teams. He was the homeopathic sports specialist of the Indian Navy and Sports Authority of India. We had, I had uh, been, I am fortunate to have uh, seen him in seminars. So the thing is, he has brought about some innovations in homeopathy. He uses homeopathic sprays. The mother tinctures are given in spray form to these hockey players to the players who, uh, who, uh, to whom he support, he gives pep talks. Encouragement is in interesting. He added, added pep talks along with homeopathic sprays to bring back the person, to bring back the, improve the performance of the sports person. Recently in 2023, he had uh, won the Times Amazing Indian Award. So coming on to training, in homeopathy sports medicine, are there any training facilities? So I just searched, I didn't find such thing. In conventional medicine, these kind of things are there. All over the world, there are courses on sports medicine, which uh, starts from one year to five years program. Uh, and uh, in India, such kind of programs are there, which is a two-year program and three-year program, which are taught in National Institute of Sports Medicine. One can pursue in uh, Sri Ramchandra University in Chennai. Amritsar and uh, Armed Force Medical College. There are such uh, courses over there. But in homeopathy, we can think of introducing the thing. Recently, NCH has started electives in homeopathy. So my point is, we can uh, start elective on homeopathic sports medicine to give an idea to our UG students on the thing. If they find uh, interesting, they can pursue later, like we can open up PG diploma in sports medicine, in homeopathic sports medicine. Or we can have sports medicine in homeopathic MD course. Students can complete MD homeopathy in sports medicine. So these are proposals. We can think of them. Uh, if uh, this kind of sports uh, things are started, I am sure that uh, there will be much development. We see there is so much support, so many players, so many famous teams, so many coaches. They know that they are 
uh, mentioning that yes, homeopathy cures, homeopathy helps the sports persons. They have been benefited by homeopathy. So if this kind of new courses are started in homeopathy, more and more homeopathy doctors, they can find a new avenue to prosper. Some research news in very short, I will just in five minutes, I will finish. In ancient times, it was Santorius Artorius. He had worked on pulse and temperature uh, after different activities, and he had worked on the effects of physical activity on the body. Bernardino Rumazzini, an Italian doctor, he is also known as the father of occupational hazards. He had studied on the effect of posture and movement on human. So these are also related to sports medicine. So such kind of researches had been occurring for long. Now coming on to recent researches. This is one research paper of uh, Stephen Kane, which uh, was uh, uh, published in the British Homeopathic Journal in 1992. Uh, that is Homeopathy in Sports Medicine, where he says that homeopathy is going to replace the uh, popular techniques that uh, has been used to treat sports related injuries. One more study, uh, it was published in 2013, the homeopathic treatment of sports injuries, a mixed systematic review exploring the effectiveness. They found that the low potency in centesimal scale and the decimal scale was very effective in treating sports related injuries when Arnica had been given in this potencies. One more uh, work of uh, Dr. Chintamani Nayak and uh, his team, a view of homeopathy in different musculoskeletal disorders. There are many papers, but I just uh, uh, have mentioned uh, two or three, just to tell, just to inform that researches are going on in the field of homeopathic sports medicine also. So moving on to the next slide, this is the tech home message. So the thing is, as we know, it's a multi-billion dollar big sports industry right now. So the profession of sports medicine is highly valued profession. Homeopathy can be used here as an integral part of sports medicine as a specialty because it's a teamwork. Sports medicine takes help from sports science. There are biomechanists, there are nutritionists, there are dietitian, sports psychologists, and homeopathists. Together they will work with the team, with the players, with the coaches to improve their performance, to enhance their performance. In India, sports medicine is in nascent stage. But slowly it's developing. And there is no doping effect. If we take homeopathy medicine, the application of science of homeopathy can meet the need of the hour. These are the messages. Some uh, I'd like to share some uh, books which are on homeopathy and sports medicine. So these are the books, one by Dr. K. S. Gopi and uh, Homeopathy for Sports, Exercise Dance by Kathleen Inch, Homeopathy Treatment of Sports Injuries by Morgan. So these are some books which we can refer. So finally, I have come to the end of my presentation and I would like to uh, acknowledge, uh, uh, first of all, Dr. M.K. Sani, sir, for inspiring me. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I'd like to also acknowledge Dr. Rajat Chattopadhyay, my principal and administrator of the Calcutta Homeopathic Medical College. And apart from being an administrator and academician, Dr. Rajat Chattopadhyay is a very good cricket player. He used to play in Calcutta in the professional league. I'd like to acknowledge uh, Dr. Jatin Walia. I'm in touch with him. I get the updates, whatever is happening in sports medicine in the field of homeopathy. And Dr. Ramkrishna Ghosh, Professor of NIH, Dr. Subhranil Shah, he's doing wonderful works in the research. Thanks to all of them. Finally, my sincere thanks to International Forum for promoting homeopathy, Kerala. Thank you all. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak on this prestigious platform. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, these are the references from where I had taken uh, some informations. So thank you all. Thank you, doctors. Thank you, everyone. For a patient hearing. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Kaushik. Kaushik. Uh, uh, okay, sir. Today we got a very nice presentation from Dr. Kaushik. Das. He already proved that how much um, a teacher must be like this. Within a few minutes, within 45 minutes, he made from from the genesis to the till now, how it, the sports medicine was. 
developed in in the world and from the uh, world of our Shusruta to till now. So thank you very much, sir. We are astonished after hearing your lecture how much great the system, our system can do in both and uh, in physical, mental, and spiritual level. Homeopathic medicine has these three stages of human can, uh, it may affect, it may do wonders. So I invite Dr. Shaji Kudiat, our vice president, to deliver, uh, to uh, say something. Thank you. Doctor, you can start now. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kubert. And uh, nice to listen. I am only recent, just joined, but I am appreciating your sports medicine. I am also used to involving homeopathy uh, in sports medicine. I used to be the team doctor of St. George High School for the Mangalam. We used to be the national champion team uh, for many years where homeopathy was the main tool to cure their, most of the ailments. And uh, I have given a, a project to the Prime Minister also in this regard, uh, which is not yet. We have done a pilot study uh, with the Sports Authority of India that was completed, but the fulfillment of the entire vision of making India Olympic champions is, was our final word, which is not yet implemented. Then, by the way, I wish to remind uh, Dr. Kaushik uh, one more thing. There is no international forum for homeopathy. Kerala, it is international. So, <laughs> please correct that. Thank you. That's all. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I was also... <laughs> Think that. Now uh, I invite Dr. Uh, Mohammed Saitan. Sir, am I audible? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, audible. Uh, thank you very much. Just just yesterday, my my daughter, fifteen years old, uh, she had fall down and she has an ankle sprain, uh, and it is her. It hurts her. What do you prefer to give uh, for such a patient? Okay, thank you, sir, for the question. Is this question, uh, uh, can I, uh, can you repeat the question once more, sir? Yeah, the, the question is, my my daughter, 15 years old, she she had fall down just yesterday. Uh, she had an ankle sprain and it hurts her. Uh, what, what can we give her uh, from uh, homeopathy medications? Okay, okay, sir, first of all, uh, we should start with Arnica. Uh, you can uh, prescribe Arnica 204 doses at an interval of six hours. So as it is of recent origin, so there is frequent repetition, repetition should be given. So you can give Arnica 204 doses. And one more medicine can also be considered that is Ledum. So later on, we can think of Ledum. So first, uh, sir, you can give Arnica 200 for your patient and check uh, what kind of improvement is taking place. How is she? And based on that, uh, you can think of Ledum 200 to be given later on. Okay. I, I have I have uh, presently I have in my house I have Arnica uh, I have Arnica thirty oh uh, let me check what what do I have I have uh, Arnica Montana thirty uh, can I give here okay so when you have Arnica thirty right now so okay uh, uh, give Arnica thirty six times okay at an interval of six hours. And uh, after that, when the six uh, doses are completed, you just check how is uh, your daughter, how is the patient. And based on that, you can think of other medicines. You can consult with any doctor, any homeopathic uh, doctor. And uh, the medicine, I think, uh, that may come either Ruta or Ledum Palustre. These are good medicines which can help uh, uh, for the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now, Dr. Okay. Danish. No, Dr. You, Danish. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Mama Sun. Uh, now, Dr. Danish. You raised his hand. Dr. Danish. No, no I think that's from. Um, yeah. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Harian, sir, you can admit, sir. 
ಅದು ಏನು ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಸರ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಜೈರನ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಟುವೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ನಿಕಾ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ರೂಟ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ you continue with ruta if you have administered arnica it is okay then you continue it with ruta uh, ruta 3x first 3x then go to 30 and 200 but uh, for uh, this type of injury lower potency is best than higher potency that is my opinion by hearing this i like to add this okay thank you thank very you, much sir. thank you sir uh, now dr danish danish. i think dr danish left uh, and uh, i think there is a problem with the uh, uh, connectivity okay then uh, dr manoj please say what of thanks i think that it is time for to uh, uh, dr manoj yeah So today the presentation was made by Dr. Kaushik Devdas. So it was a very relevant topic in, uh, in sports medicine uh, as a as homeopathy can contribute a lot where other systems of medicine, um, especially the mainstream medicine today has less to do, especially for injuries, so many things. They are just doing painkillers. and external applications where our medicine can do our arnica our hypericum our uh, calendula and other so many our common medicines can do a lot of help not only in injuries but also the common ailments that is happening to sports people where the regular medicine give uh, steroids where they will be identified in the drug testing and their entire career will be lost so homeopathy has a lot to have a lot to offer to sports people but we ourselves are unaware about it so i am i congratulate dr kaushik devdas for bringing such a wonderful idea to our international audience and i appreciate dr danish to arranging such a seminar also i have such a webinar with uh, dr kaushik i think dr kaushik uh, is not with us he left so i thank uh, dr kaushik for for bringing uh, a very good presentation uh, to us so on behalf of the international forum for promoting homeopathy and on my personal behalf i really thank for uh, such a wonderful presentation on such a, a relevant topic today to dr professor dr kaushik devdas thank you thank you dr shaji sir uh, now i think that the time is uh, going uh, running out so